Hey guys, glad you're here. Glad you're hanging out with me. I know this is not your favorite thing. I know I've said that I, I don't want to do a whole lot with it because, again, I am a failed gamer. I'm a failed gaming YouTuber. But I do like to talk about it from time to time. Uh, you know, I, I love video games. I love them. It's great. It's a great thing to do. Uh, I get home sometimes anymore. Uh, you know, I've had problems like where I just don't want to play anything. I just want to sleep. But I used to, like, I'd come home and immediately start playing video games. Uh, you know, now my backlog is just fucking ridiculous and I don't even know how to tackle it. Which, guys, just, just remember, don't buy games every time they come out. But like I said, I've, you know, I've got all kinds of games that I haven't even beat. Um, and it's my favorite hobby. You know, I'm not doing crack cocaine or heroin or fentanyl. Just playing video games. Just seeing, uh, shooting Nazis or zombies or something like that. Enjoying some kind of new story. But anymore these days, like, I, I've, I kind of feel like I'm losing a lot of passion when it comes to that. I don't know if it's just me getting older or just the way gaming is now. You know, a lot of the new trends are mainly like live service video games, uh, battle passes, uh, you know, games of a service where, you know, you get the game, then you have to stay with this game for a thousand hours uh, and it's littered with just fucking bullshit. I'm looking at you, Assassin's Creed. That's that's one of the games I'm just, I haven't went back to was a, the Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Like I played one and two and it was so loaded with like it was so bloated. Like all these games coming out now, they're they're wanting to be forty to eighty to ninety hours. Ever since games like Witcher Three came out and Skyrim, every game has to be ninety hours now. What happened to the ten hour video games? I, that's what I miss. Like. Games I could sit there and beat in a couple days, come back later on, play them again. Uh, now a game comes out, and I just want to play it once, and I'm done with it and move on to the next game. But it's making it harder and harder. Like, I, I was big into Destiny when it originally came out. Like, Destiny and Destiny 2. And that kind of kicked off the games of a service, as a service stuff. And, you know, and since then, there's been a whole lot more. Like The Division and Outriders and there's some other ones. Babylon's Fall, which, you know, a lot of these games of the service are, like, are failing. They're losing support. Avengers, uh, Rumbleverse, a lot of this stuff, which Avengers was a piece of shit. Then, then you see games like Suicide Squad uh, trying to be the next big live service game. I don't really want that. I, you know, whenever I thought Suicide Squad by Rocksteady, I was thinking, oh my God, those guys did the Batman trilogy and those guys rock. And then you seen the gameplay. Then you see, and they even delayed the game. Uh, they're delaying the game because the bad reaction it got to it. You know, a lot of people are tired of this live service bullshit. Um, you know, a lot of stuff's failing. Uh, nobody wants to spend 90 hours on your shitty game. Uh, you don't give any reasons for it. The only thing you're giving is monetization and pay-to-win mechanics. I don't really like that. I don't know about you. I don't want that in my video games. I don't want to be advertised every five seconds. Hey, go to the store to get this skin. It gives you a plus five boost in attack or something. I don't know. Stupid. Really stupid. And I don't like it. <laughs> but no, really, like, it, it's making me not love games like I used to. Like, I just feel like games now are becoming samey, um, if that makes sense. Um, you know, some of the big games that I do like, uh, the Dead Space remake, uh, that was great. It was a confined story. And they added to it, it no bullshit, just Dead Space. You know, some other games like High, I think it was Hi-Fi Rush, uh, that just came out on Game Pass. Which, Game Pass is great, by the way. Uh, this isn't me being sponsored by Xbox, which would be amazing. But, 
you know, Game Pass has been pretty great, honestly. Like some of the games that I've been wanting to play, like again, Hi-Fi Rush, uh, Plague Tale, Requiem. Uh, there were some other games uh, that came out on Game Pass that I played, um, and I ended up buying them. Usually, if I like it on Game Pass anymore, I'd buy the game later at a cheaper price. But I'm hoping there becomes a resurgence in uh, single-player games, uh, short, to-the-point games, like maybe 10 to 15 hours long, which I'm really excited about Resident Evil 4 Remake, by the way. Um, you know, it's, you know, the first game was like 16, 17 hours and very fun. And, you, you know, it gave you reasons to come back and play. Uh, it didn't give you some kind of bullshit like, hey, buy this weapon. Of course, there was the merchant, but you're not spending actual money. Uh, it's not paid. Well, technically, I guess it's pay to win because you're paying the merchant to get better guns so you can win the game. But you're not using your fucking money to do that. You're just spending $65, $70 on the game, and there it is. That's what I miss. I miss spending $60 on a game, and I get my game, and hey, you want a map pack? Okay, yeah, I like your game enough to actually buy a map pack for $15. It used to be $10, I believe. Call of Duty was like 10 bucks for four new maps or five new maps. Then they got greedy, like, oh, we got to have a battle pass. We have to have loot boxes. Uh, we have to have uh, all this shit, all this stupid bullshit. You know, it works in a free-to-play model for the most part, maybe an MMO. But, I mean, you know, I, I myself from time to time can see myself playing Fortnite, and I still rock a basic skin for fuck's sake. I, I mean, that's what I do. I, I don't. I think I have some free skins I got from Twitch maybe. For like a, a stormtrooper or something, but I never go out and buy uh, any skins. But I do like Fortnite enough that hey, I'm enjoying the game. Let me throw some money at it. Uh, that you know, that's fine. I'm not like hardcore, not hardcore enough to buy a season pass or battle pass. Should I barely even play expansions anymore to games? Like especially like these longer games, like Assassin's Creed Valhalla. There's an expansion, but I will never play. It's just I don't have the time these days to play these big things, and I don't want to dedicate it to just that one game. Like, I played through Elden Ring when it came out, and I put a hundred and some hours in it. Like, I just wanted it to end. I really did. I was like, I got to finish this game. And at least Elden Ring gave me a reason to go back and play the game. Uh, you know, I felt accomplished. I felt like I was doing something awesome. And I know whenever you hear somebody say, hey, I feel accomplished as a gamer, uh, that kind of turns you off a little bit. But there's just something about beating that boss you've been stuck on for hours. And, you know, finally beating Elden Ring. You're like, holy shit, I beat my first From Soft game. I beat my first From Software game. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty. Uh, it's great. Like I feel like I got my money's worth from Elden Ring. And shit, there is still a ton to do. So if I ever get bored, I'm like, hey, I want to play some Elden Ring. I've already beat the story. I can just go back and do more shit. Uh, it was like that with Skyrim uh, and Fallout Three and all that stuff. Like I, you know, I even played through Fallout Four and you know I liked it. Uh, it wasn't as good as New Vegas, but you know. There was a time where I would buy the game and I'm like, hey, I want more. I want more of this. Give me more. Give me expansion pack. Now the expansion packs, I mean, some of them are good. Uh, but some of it, like some games, like I feel like they're already asking too much from you. Asking you to do daily quests every day. Do the grind. Do this. Do that. If you don't do this, uh, you're going to ruin your streak. And it makes the game as a chore anymore. Uh, and I feel like that hurts gaming in general. Like, I just I just feel like it just hurts it. Like, it makes... I guess I'm an older gamer. Uh, I've been around the block. Uh, you know, I've played all the systems. If you come to my house, you'll see all the systems, all the classic systems. Um, you know, I play everything. Uh, everything. 
but I just feel bad these days. I, you know, I buy a game and I can't touch it. Like I get home anymore. I'm just like, fuck, I don't want to spend a hundred hours in the game. I just want to play something that's quick and easy to pick up. But I still buy the games. I said, I, and there's nothing wrong with that. I do like to support uh, the developers, but some stuff like anymore is just like bullshit. There's a bunch of bullshit. And just the way things are marketed these days. And I know this is going to be like, oh, you're a fucking boomer. You're just a fucking boomer that's complaining about the old days being amazing in gaming and all the new days is all fucking great. There's not enough Fortnite dances in the world to make me trust a gaming company at all. Like when I hear, well, I, I was, I was actually like, anxious about the Dead Space remake. A, it's from EA, and EA shut down Dead Space. And they fucked up Dead Space 3 by putting microtransactions and pushed it to an action shooter. But then Dead Space came out and I was like, that's one of the best remakes of any game I've ever played in my entire life. It was fucking amazing. Yeah, I, I wish more games came out like that. And, you know, from what I've seen with you know, Capcom, they're doing a hell of a job with it. Like, all the Resident Evil games that's been coming out, it's been great. Uh, and they got Resident Evil 4 coming out. Apparently, there's no bullshit in there. Some companies get it. Some people know, some companies are like, hey, you want, you want the game? You want to play a game? You want to have a finished product? Here you go. I will buy that finished product. It's the main reason I haven't hopped into Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is because um, they released it. It's broken as shit, apparently. Uh, but I'll, I'll eventually get to it. Before I hop off you here, I, I am excited to see where gaming goes. I feel like we're actually at the end of an era when it comes to games as a service. We've seen so many fail. Uh, like I said, Babylon's Fall. Avengers. Uh, I don't hear a lot of people playing uh, The Division. Uh, see, what else? Rumbleverse. Uh, there's a whole lot. The Chocobo GP for the Switch. Uh, a lot of these games are losing support. Uh, it's just crazy. It's just crazy to think that, you know, they put millions of dollars into these games because they're trying to chase a trend. And that's what a lot of companies do. They just chase the fucking trend to see where it goes next. And it's usually a sink or swim. Like, that can be a hundred companies do a live service game. And you maybe get two or three. Uh, the prominent one being Destiny. Destiny 2. Uh, maybe Warframe. There, there are some successful ones. But they're already, they already laid the foundation. It's already, I think right now, if you try to make a game like that, it's just it's going to sink before it can swim. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just being an old fucking fart. But I, I hope you guys uh, understand. And like I said, I know a lot of you guys don't like gaming stuff. And, you know, I, I'm not my best when I talk about gaming. A lot of people uh, pointed that out. But I really do hope you guys enjoy this video. Feel free to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon. There's a girl called Millie, and the boy's almost first, so they love her so. They love her so.